Hello guys, welcome to Geology Concepts. So in this video, we are going to discuss the plunge and pitch. Okay. So the first thing you want to know is that uh, the pitch and plunge is measured for a line, okay, for a linear feature. Okay, like like to describe a planar feature like the like like a bed, okay, like uh, a fault plane, a limb of an fold, the axial plane, a foliation, a cleavage plane, etc. So to describe the, these planar features, we use dip and strike. Okay. In the same way, if you want to describe a linear feature, okay, like a like a mineral lineation, okay, like a slick inside on a fault plane, like a stretching lineation, like an intersection lineation or a fold axis okay like a hinge line okay. for for these linear features if you want to describe it if someone asks you what what is the attitude of this linear feature you describe it by the pitch and the plunge okay and and, and the plunge includes uh, the plunge amount and the plunge direction so th that's the basic you should know first now let's see how we'll measure the plunge and pitch of a line okay. so this is a plane you can see okay. this this is a plane okay dipping and there's the strike of this plane this is the dip amount of this plane okay tip of the surface it's just 55 degrees now there are there are some lineations on the surface of this bed okay you can see these lineations. Okay. So it looks like uh, like there is a fault plane and and there are these slick insides. Okay. And this there was an oblique fault maybe. So this line uh, we'll measure the pitch and plunge of this lineation. This complete lineation from top to bottom. Okay. So here you can see that uh, this dip this dip amount is measured with respect to a horizontal okay so this is in a horizontal plane this is an imaginary plane okay the dip amount is measured with respect to the horizontal same way this plunge the, the plunge of this line will be measured with respect to a horizontal line okay so this is a horizontal line okay. so this angle if we measure it comes out to be 50 degrees Okay, and why it is 50 degrees less than 55 degrees because this dip this dip amount is measured at right angles to the strike of this plane okay but for this for this lineation this lineation this angle this angle is not 90 degrees but it's 72 degrees And this 72 degree angle, which is measured on this particular plane only, on which this lineation is present, okay. this surface, which has a dip of 55 degrees, on this plane, you measure this angle with this strike line, okay, with the strike of this surface is the pitch of this line. So you can see here that uh, this this angle you can imagine it as the apparent dip amount okay so which is which is at another angle I mean uh, other than 90 degree okay this angle uh, this 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 true dip amount is 55 degrees which is 90 degree from the strike line and if it is at another angle other than 90 degrees there is an apparent dip amount which comes out to be less than the dip amount okay so this plunge amount you can imagine it as the apparent dip in this direction okay not at 90 degrees with the strike line but at 72 degrees from the strike line so another way you can see here that uh, here is a vertical plane marked here okay. 
this this gray plane is the vertical plane okay. now this angle you see this which is the 55 degrees uh, 50 degree angle okay the plunge angle is measured on this vertical plane okay so what you do is that insert a vertical plane along this lineation okay this is the lineation and you insert a plane along this lineation and wherever this vertical plane intersects this imaginary horizontal plane okay this vertical plane is also imaginary now wherever this uh, vertical plane intersects with the horizontal plane it makes a line okay it makes this line and now you measure the angle between this lineation and this intersection line of this vertical plane and the horizontal plane now you will find the angle out to be 50 50 degrees and same way the dip the dip amount of the surface okay this plane is also measured on a vertical plane okay this is the vertical plane right but this vertical plane makes an angle of 90 degrees with the strike line but this vertical plane which we made for this lineation makes an angle of i mean this it it makes this much angle which actually we don't know from this diagram okay because this this angle is the angle on this horizontal surface okay it's not 72 degrees okay 72 degrees you understand that it's on the sloping surface okay it will not be same as this as this angle which is on this horizontal surface okay so it makes an angle somewhat less than this 90 degrees and this angle okay and this angle which is measured on the horizontal plane is the plunge bearing or you can say that it's the trend of the lineation like here it's written the trend of the lineation which is it's just written 330 degrees so i mean it's an hypothetical uh, image so it's north 30 degree west it's somewhat this angle so uh, i'll uh, i'll erase all this and again see what are the angles okay this angle on this vertical plane is the plunge amount plunge amount okay like like the like uh, like dip has a dip amount in the in a dip direction same way the plunge has a plunge amount and a plunge direction okay so plunge direction is what plunge direction is this angle which is measured on this horizontal plane okay between this line and this line okay so it is some value x which we don't know know here we have to calculate it to the uh, formula and lastly the pitch amount which is uh, just i'll make it with a different color which is between this lineation and this strike line okay which is which is written here which is uh, 72 degrees so this is the pitch okay and x is the plunge plunge bearing and i would tell you two relations uh, which might be helpful okay which is sine dip into sine pitch equals to tan plunge amount yeah another relation is cos dip okay this this dip is the dip amount okay this okay into tan pitch okay. which is equal to tan plunge bearing 
you can note down these they might be helpful to you so finally uh, in the end i would uh, leave you with this question and you will uh, you can answer this in the comments so uh, subscribe our channel for more videos like this and if you like the video share it with others also and uh, if you like to <coughs> join our live classes all the details are given in the description so see you in my next video bye bye